The Marlies practicing here at the MCC over the course of this week as they get ready for their year-end road trip. They'll only play one more game at the Rico Coliseum, and that is next Saturday against the Rochester Americans. A lot of bodies on the roster at the moment, and that meant the practice got broken up into two groups. Class size does matter. I think uh, especially with the young guys, you know, they, they have been used to the system. We use the Leaf system uh, basically all year, so uh, it's more for the young guys. Like somewhere at training camp, and we introduced them at that point. But uh, you know, it's a refresher for them. And then uh, there's minor details with the guys from the Leafs that uh, you know we do a little bit differently. So we just want to make sure that this time of year, all the details are taken care of. Uh, I think it's a, a lot of teaching stuff and. Uh, the more guys you have and those kind of uh, practices, the longer the time as you stand around. So it's, uh, it's I think, a good thing that we split it up in two groups. So uh, you got uh, more more ice time. You can work on some uh, system stuff, and you don't have to stand around too long because uh, you're less guys. So it's uh, at least you uh, you go you get going out there a little more. Little things, details in our game. Um, you know, it's good and it's nice to be in the playoffs and kind of roughly know where we stand. But, um, you know, we've still got work to do. Um, you know, attention to detail, making sure our game's sharp before, uh, before the playoffs start. It can be tempting to think that these final games really don't matter much in the standings. The Marlies, a few games behind Grand Rapids, still have second place on their mind, however. And they still have a thought that these games matter exceptionally because the playoffs are no place to go on a losing streak. I think for us to, uh, to go out there and make sure we're playing good hockey, you know, yeah, you want, you want to win every game, and, but I think the most important thing is for us to go out there and be playing the best possible hockey we can. It's, you know, it's a bit of a cliche, you can't just flick a switch and turn it on come playoff time, and, and that's the truth. I've been on teams where, you know, we've been struggling coming into the playoffs, and, and it shows. So um, I think it's important for us to, to play with energy, do the right things, and, um, you know, stick together as a group, and I think we'll be uh, in really good shape. For sure. Uh, you know, we, we want to finish as high as we can in uh, the overall standings, and we still make a run at Grand Rapids as far as the conference standings. And, uh, you know, that, that's part of it as far as going in the playoffs the best position as possible, but also bringing in good habits and, and making sure we're have all the all the engines revving right uh, going in the playoffs and, and that's a big part of this time of year. Well, uh, I think it's still uh, six games left, so uh, we still have a chance to get second place. Maybe I think we have two games in hand, and uh, we want to finish as, uh, as strong as possible. Obviously, with going in the playoffs, you can't just uh, hang around and be a little loose out there. It's gonna there's no switch for you can turn on as soon as you go to the playoffs. So we got to play playoff hockey right right now. Start starting the next game and uh, I think uh, we play a lot of teams who are still in the hunt and uh, still want to want to play desperate and uh, that's what we're going to see in the playoffs so it's, it's going to be good preparation for the for the playoffs and uh, for the first round and uh, we like I said we still want to finish as best as possible. A couple of new bodies here at the Marlies as well and Fabrice Herzog and Carter Verhage and both those guys are setting up in their professional careers for the first time and doing a pretty good job of it says Gord Deneen. Yeah, Fabrice uh, didn't look out of place at all in the game the other day. Actually, he's come a long way from uh, from the rookie tournament and training camp. Uh, I see a big difference not only in his just his confidence, the way he carries himself, but in his physicality and, and size. He's put on some weight, and uh, it's funny to say that in a you know in a pro hockey player, but. You know, he's still a developing uh, kid, and, and uh, Carter's the same way. He's uh, the first time we've seen him on the ice today, but uh, had a real good year in junior, and, and I'm sure he's going to add to our uh, to our lineup. This weekend, the Marlies will face the Rochester Americans at the Blue Cross Arena. They will then travel to Syracuse to take on the Crunch, and then finish out on Sunday against the Wilkes-Barre Penguins.